and welcome back to my channel this is Miss Dita today I have something very very good for y'all and it is a book review so before you go like wah 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 trust me it is a very 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 exciting book that you want in on so please do not go away now this is the book I wanted to talk about today. It's called Instant Insight, 15 Questions to Great Relationships. And the author went on and wrote, revolutionize your personal and professional life. The author's name is J. Lenora Bretzler. I'm going to give you a quick background on this book. So when I was in Florida, during the Christmas party, my boss at the time, he likes when public speakers um, come in and sort of, you know, boost morale and stuff like that. So that's how I came in contact with her. And she gave this amazing, um, she gave this amazing presentation and I went to her after and I'm like, wow, I really loved how she spoke and I love public speaking and I got myself a book, y'all! <laughs> okay, so there she actually autographed the book. And it says, Rashida, may all your relationships be instantly terrific. All the best. And she signed it. And it was dated 12 for 15 So yes, that was how I got this book, y'all. I didn't read the book until January of 2017. Yes, it takes me a while to get to my books, but I get to it eventually. But this book has been great, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the review part. So basically, in this book, she highlights 15 questions you can ask anybody to get instant insight into them, basically. And... These are all the questions listed here. I wrote in it, so I, I won't show it up close. And throughout the chapter, she broke down the questions into why those questions are appropriate and the goal you would achieve from asking those questions. It is a great book, y'all. So since I started reading this book, I started, you know, I asked my husband first, and then everyone, y'all, like everyone <laughs> so everybody family friends co-workers people I closely interact with just to get an understanding of how they think their values things like that it's not that kind of book it's not really complicated to read it's actually um, only about a hundred and ten pages so yes I would definitely recommend this book and I would give it a 4.5. The only reason I'm giving it a 4.5 and not a full 5 points is because I wish I read about other people's experiences with the book. Like maybe success stories or things like that. That's the only reason. And the reason I'm giving it a 4.5 is because, one, it's a great conversation starter. Like anybody, if you're during lunch or if they just come and chill or you could even schedule a call and you know ask if you're like really curious like me and you can't wait and every time I talk to people like ask questions they will say oh you should ask this other person I, I can't wait to hear what this other person feels or what their response is to that question so it's a great book the second reason is because I consider it a book that keeps on giving. It's like you just never really know what to expect. And you can also ask probing questions. You know, it's not just a yes or no answer. You can ask probing questions like why, what do you mean? And then usually you're able to get more from people. And thirdly, I just think it's a book that you can use for the rest of your life. No matter your age, your socioeconomic status, or where you are in life, you can use this, especially in the work setting. Like, if you want to get a better understanding of a group dynamic or individuals on, in the team, this is the book. 
So yes, I definitely encourage you to read it. I also want to share some tips based on asking people questions in this book. Number one, I find that you you um, you get better result asking people one on one. Of course, you have to first explain what you're doing because people sometimes get you know evasive. They don't want to respond. You know, just say, "Oh, you're just trying to use it to get to know them better." Two, you don't want to ask in a group setting. You you want to ask individuals, just one on one, because. People would say, oh, yeah, I agree with her. I agree with what this person said. I tried it at my work once, and it was just sort of fruitile because everyone was, you know, either they are they are trying to be careful not to say the wrong things and all of that. So you want to do it. Um, you don't want to do it in a group setting. I mean, it may take longer to ask one-on-one, -on -one, but you will still get the effect. And the third tip I have about this book is, you know, you, you sort of want to create that cool atmosphere, you know, build that trust, you know. And when I ask people, I always tell them, you know, I'm not going to share the questions. I know I, I sort of feel like a psychologist, but I'm not going to share the questions. If you bring it up, fine. And I tend to say this to, like, family, like, people close, close, close to me. Like, no, if you bring it up, fine, but I'm not going to be asking. And also, the next... Um, the next tip is don't discount it. Don't think, oh, because this person is my brother or because this person is my mom or because this person is my sister. Don't feel like you can't get to know them better. I asked my brother this and starting out, they were like, oh, I know you. I know this about you. And at the end, we actually learned more about each other. So I will give you the details um, for this book. In general, it's a great book. I think it's worth Put it in your shelf. I would never, ever, ever give anyone this. So don't even ask me to borrow you this book. Like, I'm not going to. <laughs> but um, it's a great read. And I hope you guys get a copy. Or if you've read it, share your thoughts, comments. Is this something you would like to read? I would also post the questions. Because the good thing about this book is you don't even have to read the entire book to get the benefits of, of the... Um, of the questions basically but i hope you enjoyed this until next time guys bye <laughs>